Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Zach here. And, and Matt, what's going on, and guys? And this guy. And Yo. today we're going to be checking out some stuff that I did yesterday at WB Games for Shadow of War. Oh, uh, WB Games invited me out to try a two hour long playthrough of the game. And I've got an hour long demo to show you guys. And we'll kind of commentate over it. I'll explain to Matt what's going on. And I apologize, I have a cold right now, so I'm, I sound a little rough. <clears throat> and I might cough a couple times, so please bear with me. But this is really cool. I freaking love this game. It's amazing. Yeah. You played all the way I, through the first one. Yeah, the first one's great, guys. I love how smooth it is in the battle system. It reminds me of like Arkham, uh, the Arkham games a little bit. Uh, well, it makes like God of War, you know? And I, I really like that feeling, the flow of how it went. And uh, I, it, I don't know, it was a really fun first game. I'm really excited for this next one, especially to see like what kind of updates they added to it, what, what they keep, and like what, uh, what they improve on. So. Yeah, so it's still being made by Monolith and uh, WB Games. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's a lot of the same stuff that you know. more like an RPG now. That's like, no awesome. joke. It plays oh more gosh. like an RPG. Uh, there's so many things going on in this. I'll just, we'll explain them as we go. Um, but seriously, check, check this out. This, they gave me this for going. I haven't gonna, seen this yet, so I'm pretty excited out. about this. Uh, so this little, this little box here says, all right, all right. Check that out. Dude! It's what? a bottle opener. Oh my gosh, that's so You're sick! You're not going to be able to see it, because, I mean, here, I'll, I'll put it up real close for you. Look at that. Look at that. That is so pretty. It says <laughs> Shadow amazing. War on there. Ah, oh, sick. Absolutely. We just sick. gotta make sure that Kaiju doesn't eat this. Oh, Kaiju will eat it. <laughs> for sure. Kaiju, Kaiju will find a way. Kaiju always finds a way. And they gave me this uh, this little notebook uh, as well. For That's coming awesome. Out. It's also really nice. Really That's a neat. nice notebook. Uh, it was a great trip. It was a great trip. So, shall we get into it? Yeah, oh, let's I do think it, man. There's another video playing here, so I'm gonna shut that off. All right, so. Uh, Let's do it. So I'm going to just talk through what what That's, happened, excited, uh, yeah. what I saw, how it felt. Uh, I did two playthroughs yesterday. Um, the first one, and this is what's really exciting about this. Every single person you see that's going to upload footage from this event online mm -hmm. is going to be different. They're all different because everything's procedurally generated. All the villains are procedurally generated. Oh, my gosh. So, you know, the guy I was working with, he said he's been doing the demo now. Almost a 200 times with all these different people between Comic Con and the WB Studio, and he's never seen the exact same situation or scenario or the same warlords or the same overlord. Yeah. So it's different every single time you play, which makes me really excited as a streamer to know that every single time I pick up the game, I can encounter different things and yeah. different villains. And there's some surprises in this one. Apparently, uh, one of the villains that I encounter is one of the rarest in the game. <laughs> and I awesome. happen to get really, really lucky. The dude who was helping me like freaked out and was going to grab other people and tell them, you gotta come see this, you gotta come see this. He got the thing, he got the thing. Uh, so uh, that was pretty exciting. It was really neat. I'm excited um, to see, like, just to see, like, that was my favorite, one of my favorite parts of the first game was doing all, fighting all the different orc leaders and stuff like that. And to see that they were generating new ones constantly is... Well, you really know, like, how in the first game you had one big fortress that yes. you were building towards. Yes. There's tons of fortresses in this. Oh, my God. And you build great. an army to go after fortresses. So it almost feels like at times like a Dynasty Warriors kind of thing. You know, it's not. But yeah, that yeah, kind of, yeah. like, you're building an army and you're creating a a tactical plan yeah. to take that army into battle against that fortress. So That's you want to so build sick. out the abilities of your army and all that stuff. You know what? We, we, should, probably yeah, we, probably we should probably just get into it. We should probably just get into it. It's an hour long. Uh, so they started me out at level 30, just to give me oh, a good wow. feel. That's great. Uh, to give me a good feel of everything. So pay attention to my armor and everything, because I do change it a little bit. So right when I started, I wanted to give you guys a quick look Ooh. around. And I do apologize. This... Uh, the game footage they gave me, we had to record it on a portable SD card, so it's not as crisp as it should be. I believe it was a lower data rate. Uh, it looked much better in person. Yeah, uh, It's for a sure. little bit lower data rate, but you, you guys will get the idea. Uh, it was a PC build. I was playing on an Xbox controller. Yeah. Uh, I prefer the mouse and keyboard controls for this game, actually, especially because oh, I, really? I'm, I'm I like arching. Oh, okay, I'm a big yeah, archer in yeah. the game. All right, so... Okay, so we're going up oh. against Overlord, Takra Knight, Bringer, Mystic Destroyer, Legendary level. So that's the guy I'm going up against. So these are the fortifications. Oh uh, he's gosh. got a War Chief, Umug the Slayer, Iron Gate, so inner and outer walls are fortified, Hork the Brave. He's got a Defender Host. Uh, they're going to have a lot of shield enemies, so they're going to be hard to get through. And I have no intel on uh, this uh, Warlord this, there. So here's my Warlords. Awesome. 
These are the warlords I'm bringing uh, into battle. So I've got an assault force. Booble the Screamer. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, so I need to give him an ability to go into battle. So these guys got iron walls and everything. So I'm going to give them, I'm going to give us some Olag High uh, because they do well against fortified walls. So they're going to help us break through there. Uh, on my next dude, I'm going to give them, uh, I'm going to give them some, uh, some axe wielding shock troops because we're going up against guys with shields. And I didn't want to like shield versus shields. I was no, like, let's yeah. go on the offense this time around. We're going to just hit them hard dead fast with a fast moving troop so i gave him some shock troops with axes that are going to run in there and just uh, already the strategy in this <coughs> seems like totally, totally different. different totally yeah. different it took me a little bit to wrap my brain around it you got to really think out your your plans of attack and the weaknesses of the people you're going up against Holy crap. um so i was about to see like what am i gonna if, who am i going up against here so i've got hork the brave amug the slayer i want to look at their stats and what their weaknesses are so it says damage to range attacks vulnerable to stealth Damage by executions, damage by explosions. What about some of these other dudes? Let's see what they've got. So we've got Hork oh, the Brave. Uh, vulnerable to execution. Uh, Shaken Master becomes temporarily days when a bodyguard is killed. Damage by range attacks, damage by explosions. So I don't really have any intel on anyone. Uh, so this guy's flammable, though. So I know I need to go into battle with some flame attacks. Yeah, I got to Because that's there. the overlord. That's i got to take him on one-on-one. -on -one. So I need to set myself up with some flame attacks. Yeah. Knowing that that guy's vulnerable to flame, I'm going to go ahead and get some fiery sage be siege beasts that shoot giant fireballs. Oh, right. Yeah. Into the, and this is apparently like a mystic's castle. You can tell what kind of faction the people you're going up against is based on just the way it looks. So That's this so is a crazy. mystic stronghold level 164, which I believe level 164. Oh, you missed that. I summon a wild drake. You can do what? So we're going to have the heck? a wild dragon will enter the battle. Now this dragon, when it first appears, will attack both sides until I tame it. That's amazing. So really? I'm going to have to tame the dragon. I'm going to I'm gonna have to overtake the dragon. You to got make a lot sure of multitasking to do in this. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely do. So now that I've built out that and I looked at all the stats of my enemies, I'm going to go into my stats here. Oh, this is my army view, by the way. I'm going to assign a bodyguard for myself. Holy I can shit. give myself a bodyguard. So look at this dude. He, I command him right now. Erkaus the Beast. He's an epic character. Uh, so I'm going to select him. Look at this dude. Wow. So he's got a legendary weapon, but he's terrified of spiders. Oh my gosh, that's so... Like, I love how unique each freaking character They all have super unique abilities, I, disabilities, I, I, all I, that Like, stuff. how many are there? How many different flaws did each... I don't even I don't know. know. I, don't, I don't know. I didn't get that... We didn't have enough time to, like... I didn't... Yeah. That's so I just assigned this guy as a bodyguard. So using my D-pad, I can call him into battle yeah. as my bodyguard. That's awesome. And I wanted to double up on it. So I'm going to go into my skill tree in a little bit. Look at this. Crimp hothead. I love this. This is one of my, <laughs> this is one of my, my uh, generals. Crimp the hothead. So here's the ones I know are there that I've identified. Obviously, I don't have intel on all these other generals. Um, but those are the generals I know are there. And that's you know the overlord we're going after. So I'm going to go to my character right now. This is my skill tree. So, given that they gave me a character at level 30, I already have some things available. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I just kind of went through here quickly and I started looking at some of the things I already have. So, I knew at least what my skills were. Yeah, yeah. Since I didn't build this character up and I was just thrown into it, I was like, oh shit, I better look at these really quick. Yeah. Because I have no idea what all my combos are. And I tried to do as many as I could in the gameplay, but I probably still missed quite a few because there were a ton already available and I just gave myself some more. So, this is one of the things I bought. A fatal counter, because I like countering in the oh, game. Oh, yeah, definitely. So I gave myself a fatal counter, so I randomly have the ability to insta-kill on yeah. a counter. I'm a big counter fan myself, too. Yeah, dude. big it's counter like... fan. I also know that I love range attacks, so I immediately went down. Uh, well, not yet. I know I go to some range here in a little bit, and I buy some stuff. So uh, right now I'm looking through all my wraith attacks. Oh, yeah, get those wraith attacks, man. Dude, that's like one of my favorite things in the game. It's awesome. The wraith. The Celebrimbor. What's, what's that guy's name again? Uh, Celebrimbor? Celeb oh, my gosh, I'm butchering that name. Ce Celebrimbor. Celebramore. 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 Yes. Celebramore. You know, El, you know it's, a, it's an elvish name. Yeah, uh, right. But he's great. He's All right, so check this out. Does badass so stuff. we've got the detonate, the shadow strike into a fire pit, uh, detonating it and lighting nearby enemies on fire. I already have that. Shooting an enemy's foot freezes them in place. I never really used that. I should have. Oh, that's I always a cool just went feature. for the headshot. That's, that's pretty, like... That's Birds of Prey. Now, this one, aim LT to slow down time while in the air. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that looked cool. Uh, might is full. Press RB to fire an explosive shot. So that's like an explosive shot right there. <coughs> we also have the Shadow Strike active skill. Reach an enemy by aiming at them, and then you hit X to teleport over to them. But I already have uh, this Shadow Strike pool. 
which I end up using in the battle to, to win, and I'll show you guys later. This is where you can target somebody, hit Y, or hold X, and you'll pull them over to you instead of you going to them. So if you Dude. have a character you're trying to section out from the battle, because yeah. you want to overtake them, it can be really hard to overtake people in the middle of a battle, and I learned that the hard way. Uh, so if I was playing smart, I'd pull them out and do that kind of thing. So knowing that my overlord that I'm going up against, ha he was vulnerable to fire, mm -hmm. I'm going to go and up, unlock this mighty shot causing a fire explosion. Uh, so I, w I want to enable that because I want to use it Maybe yeah. battle. Maybe, were you able to pick him off pretty fast with that? You'll see. It's oh, a long okay. battle. Okay, cool. I was That's not dope. prepared for... I forgot, how do we get into this, like, you approach <coughs> the, t the, the, for the fortress, and then you were able to access this menu, or? So, no, uh, this, menu is, this menu is just by hitting start. So first I approached the fortress, and I wanted to see all the skills that I was going to go up against. Mm. So I opened up the fortress thing, I wanted to see who I was going to fight, and all that stuff, before gotcha, I went gotcha. into my skill tree, so I could properly build it out. Knowing I only had an hour, I was like, okay, I want to make sure, you know, that I get that. Yeah. Uh, so the elven light... Yeah. Uh, that's also elemental. So I just, uh, knowing he's immune to, or has a weakness to fire, and I want to go ahead and give that. So since he has a weakness to fire, I, I made the assumption that since he's the overlord, he probably has a lot of minions who are also weak to fire. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wrong on a little bit of that. Okay, I encountered yeah. a dude on checkpoint B who was immune to fire. Uh, and also to arrows, we, you'll love him. I can't wait to show you this guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's no, cool. I, <clears throat> so here's the other thing. I already got a giant bodyguard. And I was like, you know what? Let's, let's do this. So I just purchased, instead of a mount, you know how you can have a mount yeah, last yeah, game? Yeah. Now I call in that dude. <laughs> that's so sick. You just ride on him and just go in. And so I can out. call him in at any time uh, and ride on him, and he's a badass. So now yeah. I've got my giant bodyguard and my giant mount, so I can really just wreak havoc on everybody. That's incredible. It's really great. So here's Elven Rage. Uh, I only get to use this twice in this playthrough that I get to show you guys. Um, but you can see there's so many options. I'm out of skill points. I can't buy anything else. I thought this look was the Rebel Alliance. <laughs> it does look like the Rebel Alliance. And I was like, whoa, is that like because you're <laughs> summoning active warriors to fight alongside you, so they made it look like the Rebel Alliance? And he was like, no, that's actually the logo for that. And I was like, oh. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> oh, I thought they were trying to give a nod to Star Wars. No, they're definitely not. They're definitely not giving a nod to Star Wars. Oh, that'd be a cool crossover, man. Mm -hmm. That'd be a cool... Probably on fantasy. In a galaxy there. far, far away. Yeah. <laughs> Elves. I mean, it's already fantasy. We're good. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, and then I've got the Dominate Captain active skill, which is great. Uh, when a captain's broken, you can dominate them to take mm -hmm. them over, which is very important in the game. I probably should have fought somebody to the death just to show you guys, but I love dominating people so much and turning them to my team. I did ah, that every time. That's like, that's like my game. favorite that's thing to do. To do the game too, man. I was like, yeah, I know I could fight him to the ki fight him to the death, but you gotta collect them all, guys. I want to collect them all. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now that I'm leveled up and I, I know what I'm going for, let's do it. So I've I've assigned all the upgrades to my generals. I know where I'm headed. Let's start this battle and get into it. All right. Oh so this gosh, is great. Check this out. Check this out. That's amazing. Wait, you remember the screamer, dude? Yeah. My first general. Look, there's the oh. fire, dude. I can't wait for you to see the screamer. He's so great. Talion walks in. This is like my favorite Strong. part of this. You're leading an army into battle. That's really cool. It feels awesome. Like, it's so epic. Wow. They really just... These battles already look like so much more... Like, each one is so unique and so special. So talk with there the Nightbringer. Is. Dude, this is this is just one battle. I know, <laughs> and there are tons of them. It's great, and this is awesome because it's different every time. He's a look at this. Oh, Booble the screamer! Yeah, look at him. He just starts screaming. He's get, he's amped up. He's amped up. He's amped up. He's amped up. Look at that, oh, look at the it. screamer. He just starts screaming to get the army all riled up. <laughs> I fucking love it. It's so good. He's a good hype man right there, dude. <coughs> He's my hype man. Yeah. Booba the screamer. Booba the screamer's like my hype oh, man. That Rat Bag reference. Rat Bag was a, was a fun character last Yeah, game. yeah. All right, so first thing first, I want to take these dudes on the tower out. So I'm going to... Nice. I'm going to blow them up. I'm going to make them weak enough that I can overtake them. That's what I want. I was like, first, I'm going to get those explosions off of them. That's going to break them. 
and then I'll be able to shadow up there and overtake them and quickly take over objective A. Boom. Oh. Controlling that mofo. Yes. <laughs> oh, Just like that. So quick. All right, so already my big dudes broke down the wall and they're going towards objective A and I'm just gonna pellet these guys for a while. Just to get it, just to knock them down, weaken them a little this bit. This is incredible. This is like, I can't believe, I can't wait to play this. I'm, it's so I'm, much fun, man. It's so much fun. Uh, so I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when I dismount things, I always go for the kill. Yeah, I mean, you have always to, go oh, for the kill. Yeah, dude. Look at this. Boom! Oh! Oh, All right. That was so sick. the other thing I'm not gonna lie about is at this point I was still getting familiar with the controls. And you'll be able to tell at the beginning of this demo, like, I'm still trying to figure out all of my attacks and all my moves. I just tried to Shadow Strike a general. I shouldn't have done that. That was a bad idea. Uh, I was trying to do my down punch thing, but because I had targeted on him, it, it did a Shadow Strike instead. Yeah. Amog the Slaver, a machine tank. All right. All right. Vulnerable We're... to stealth. Doesn't help Dude, me at yeah. all. All right. to go so because the... he's vulnerable to beast fodder, I definitely call in my mountain a little bit. So it took me a little bit. I was like, okay, yep. So I was called in my mount. Boom. Yeah, take take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Dang. Yeah, vulnerable to beast oh, fodder. That's sick, dude. So already though, I took a pretty big hit, and I'm catching myself on fire. But look at this. Booble the Screamer is down already. I already lost Booble the Screamer. No, we liked him so he was too hyped. He was, uh, he was my hype man is down. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should have like actually did a little bit more range attacks and weakened him a little. Did you see the dragon fly in? No. See oh. that symbol right there? That's a dragon. He just flew into the frame. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Just fucking shit up. Yeah, just you, wrecking you, it. You He's eating that guy right now. He's just <laughs> he just ate that dude. <laughs> You had to tame that <coughs> dragon still, right? It's still, um, I gotta tame the dragon. Sides. I gotta tame the dragon. Here's the thing now. I'm gonna have to like revive myself. I was just dancing around. I was like getting so overwhelmed by all the crazy that was happening while I was playing. I was just trying to look at everything and I wasn't focusing on the battle. So now now I'm getting in the zone. So health, uh, once again, regenerative uh, system. Yeah, yeah. And you can, you, you know, you can, su you can uh, steal the souls of the bad guys and your, and the good guys. Yeah. Now I was trying to figure out right here, my dude got stuck. So this is still a beta, this is still an early build. My dude got stuck and I was trying to get him back into battle. I'm out of arrows, I keep trying to stealth like jump in. So to do your shadow strikes you need arrows in yeah. your inventory. Are they, are they still like scattered around the, you find around the floor or you, you like? So right now I'm taking the health from him. I needed oh, I health. That. That's, so that's in the middle really, of battle I'm just grabbing him and he's one of my dudes. So yeah. I was attacking my own guy but I wanted to steal his health. <laughs> trying to grab him right there and I kept missing that was my bad How is battle? so I just does froze feel, that dude like is it, does it feel uh like fast smooth or like is, it's is good it, it's got or, that same combat system as the last game great. it feels great it just took me a little bit to re-familiarize myself with the controls you, uh, like, I've you been kind of jumped in with like a bunch of skills so I did and I was trying to figure out all the combos and I will say I realized playing this yesterday I haven't played a game with an Xbox controller in a while and the switch has ruined me <laughs> the switch has run me. Well, they're all like a little like they're all the they quarter turned the same, everything. Well, yeah, you know? they quarter turned everything. So every time it was giving me a button prompt, I was hitting the wrong button. Yeah. I was getting so <laughs> mad at first. I got used to it in a second. It just took me a little bit, and I was like, "Damn it, switch!" You messed with me there. So right now, I'm just clearing these dudes out. Hitting with that oh, shadow axe. Yeah. Axe. yeah. So I've got my power built up, or I did. I just lost it. There we go. So when my sword glows, obviously I can do one of my bigger moves. Uh, I think I do a sh like my ground pound in a little bit. I can't remember. So one of my generals is bleeding. Yeah, there we go. Boom! Oh. Freaking awesome. So you see on the screen here, one of my generals is bleeding. So I was trying to figure out where he was. I was rolling around, and it kept saying he's bleeding, he's bleeding. And I want to save him because I already lost one general. I've already got one down. So yeah. I went over here to see what was going on. He ran ahead to objective A <laughs> or to objective B. He's the only one over there. So of course the stupid idiot's bleeding. He ran ahead of the rest of the he army. Was just so, he was so He went off on up. his own. We haven't even captured point A yet. You know, this our, our hype man like hyped him up too much. <laughs> Boom, so there was my shadow pound there. Uh, I'm getting really close to clearing this objective. I should be able to take it in just a minute. So that dude's gonna die. <laughs> that dude's yeah, definitely gonna, totally die. gonna die. So I got some archers up top that are- How many more generals do you have? Uh, I've got a couple, but I'm gonna overtake a couple in a little bit. Nice. Nope, there he goes. He bled, bled out. out. Snafu, Snafu the Mad Eye. Snafu. <laughs> His biggest flaw is that he couldn't see. Boom. Point nice. captured. Nice! Got it. All right. That point's captured, so you'll see my army all runs and rallies to the next point. 
Those archers are cleared off up there. So oh, I want to. There it is. That he's broken. He's taking damage. For some reason, it wasn't letting me toggle him right there. So I got to get closer to him. So I wanted to get in his flight path and be able to get up there on him. Yeah. Got to tame that dragon, dude. Got to tame that dragon. Yeah, man. Dude, I would he's got a broken spirit. I'm gonna. He's gonna be mine. <laughs> <man. laughs> That's how you tame animals. You break their spirit first. Yeah. Is that right, Kaiju? Yeah, we, yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, so you see him. I got to get locked on, locked on. Wait for it, wait for it. Boom. Got him. He's mine now. Dude. So now Dude. I'm flying the dragon. What? I know. What? What the heck? <laughs> so Look I was trying to figure out. You got to get fairly close with him. Uh, so, so I tried like there. No, too far away. All right, so okay. I got to get in closer to get the flame breath. So I'm going for objective B here. Where is attack? Do you have flame breath and a fireball? Is there? And you can bite? also hold for a dive attack, and you can go down and pick someone up. Oh, that's sick. And then fly back up and drop them. That's amazing. So I thought that because I thought, oh, maybe these guys are like, you know, fire might hurt them. I've got one broken guy down there, so I went down, grabbed this dude, <laughs> that's and dropped awesome. him into a window. But <clears throat> I'm hoping they do a little bit more tightening on the flight controls. There was some like. Flying yeah. down and hitting the buildings and stuff. How, like, do you, uh, <coughs> like, how, like, was it, was, how did it feel like controlling it in terms of? It was like, fine. It felt a little slow and sluggish, but I think they needed to because there were so many buildings around. Right. Uh, and it was already pretty hard to like navigate out of the buildings. Um, was it just a directional uh, control, or did you have to like press something for, for like going up, and, like X to go up, or like? It was pretty much just. All right, so I took down one of theirs. Or talk the fearless. Uh, the Warmonger Slayer burned him. Burned him alive with the dragon. Uh, so I want to jump off there and get in there because I see there's a broken general in there. Just backflip back into Boom. battle, dude. Yep. Oh, nice. Crimp Crimp hothead. Hothead. I knew he was going to be a ringer, dude. I knew Ooh. that guy was going to be a ringer. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, so this dude, I thought... My dragon wasn't doing shit to him. Look at this guy. Oh, this guy looks dope, though. Earl Asu, the pain seeker. I love these character designs, man. Yeah. He's immune to execution. Uh, so I can't, I can't do that. And man. I don't know his weaknesses because we weren't able to gain intel on this guy before battle. Yeah. So I'm just gonna throw some headshots, see how much damage I'm doing. Uh, not much. All not orcs much. are different, guys. All they're all different. All right. They all have feelings. All right, so I'm getting some, I'm getting some, uh, some counters in there, but I haven't seen that, that move yet. Boom. Oh, okay. No, nope, not, not yet, not yet. It's just basic attacks here, building up my rage meter. So he's enraged by burning. So I was just enraging him earlier. Boom! Look at the dragon. Oh, he's going. Oh, dude, he's just slamming in there and shit. Wow. Oh. But he's just making him angry. He's enraging him with fire. So he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna murder my dragon. Like he's gonna murder him. Yeah, but that dragon's not going down without a fight, dude. Oh, that, that's yeah, that so dragon, cool, That dragon's dead, though. That dragon's so dead. Yeah. Watch out! Oh, I, I, I know. I know, right? <laughs> God, I cannot wait for this game. I was having so much fun, but given that they just started me off at level 30, I found myself being overwhelmed by everything. I was just like, I just want to look <laughs> around. I just want to see what's happening. This is great. So did you only, were you, like, did this battle take the whole time, basically? Well, the battle with the Overlord takes a while. Uh, yeah. When I did my first playthrough, just to quickly, like, I didn't know any combos, I didn't do any research, they just handed me a controller, and I just hopped in. I actually beat that Overlord super fast, because I found his weakness, and it was a pretty easy one. Yeah. Uh, so you see there, I did, I got, I did enrage him by burning him, uh, but I wanted to, he was about to attack, so yeah. I, I used my ability there to shadow through it. Um, oh. Oh, did you Boom. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, you're good, you're good. <laughs> I'm gonna get back in, but he's humiliating me. Instead of killing me, he's humiliating me wow, in front of his men. Wow, what? They have the option of doing that? Yeah, so he didn't kill me, he just humiliated me. I can't me. believe that. So is that, is that like lower? But he's broken now. I did injure him enough, so I'm gonna get in there. I gotta get close, so I gotta hit B, and I'm gonna take him over. There you go. I'm making my own. So that's what you get for humiliating me, bruh. Yeah, yeah, Boom. yeah, Boom. yeah, yeah, wow, way to turn that around, dude. Uh, duh, stay and fight for me, always. <laughs> Fuck shit up. Fuck shit up. There he goes, he's, he's, got, he's rejuvenated. He's in there. Oh, man, oh, you got point, you got that? Boom. Nice, nice. nice. Alright, so I gotta go take objective C now. So I gotta get my battle over there. 
get all my get my general, my new general that I just took over, which I'm glad I did because I had none left. Yeah, exactly. I was out of general, so I, I was glad I took that guy over. So that dragon's almost dead. He's still fighting though, dude. He's still He's going still strong. Fighting. That dragon does not want to quit. <coughs> oh, look at all the stuff you're all the look at all that you're picking up, dude. You got Dendorian dagger. Yep. What else? Do you they got a bunch of stuff. Well, I just went for the legendary. I didn't want to pick up all the other stuff and waste yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Always the inventory. So you just hold A to run up walls, kind of Assassin's Creed style. Mm -hmm. dude, oh, dude, I just lost Muzu the Gatekeeper, dude. so I did have one general left. He's Bazooka down. Bazooka the Clever, come on, come on! He's down. So I did notice a couple camera issues as I was playing. Hopefully those get worked out. They did tell me that uh, to all of us in the demo that this is even an older build. Yeah. All that good stuff. So, oh, I just, oh, I so I just summoned my bodyguard. I forgot the, you had that guy. That's my bodyguard. I wanted to bring him into battle and see what he could do. You summoned him with the D-pad? Yep, the... summoned him with the D-pad. So he's down there now. Oh, I was going for those arrows. I just barely missed that jump. <coughs> I didn't realize you can change direction in the air pretty easily. Yeah, that's um, pretty, oh, that's good. So I've got the arrows now. So you see my bodyguard down there. I've got my two big dudes. The one I just took over who's enraged because he was on fire. And my bodyguard, and they're just in there messing stuff up. What well, I like about combat now, is, oh, arrow proof, Hogling the singer. <laughs> so this is the one that you that is like super rare, right? This guy, when he showed up, everyone in there was freaking out because he's super rare. He's super rare. So we just we found this singer bard character. <laughs> And that guy started freaking out, and he started calling other people over, and he said it was like a 1% chance of that guy showing up in the game. Uh, so he was like, you've got to capture him. He's like, you just have to. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. So right off the bat, uh, we realized... Um, oh, he's already like doing work on your guy, dude. Yeah. Hoglick the Singer's already wrecking, <laughs> wrecking your crew. Yeah. Th that's incredible. The fact that there's a, a bard... So Hoglick the Singer, the bard, just took down that giant dude. That we had problems with earlier. Yeah. Just, just slayed him. Hogling the singer. <laughs> slayed him. <laughs> Fucking slayed. So he's broken though. Now's the he chance. He is broken. Nope, that nope, was Horde Debray. Knocked his head off. Oh, that's Boom. Cool. That looks sick. Damn, that was cool. Hogling so the gotta... singer, man. That's crazy. Does, does he? Is he able to buff up his team? I don't know. I didn't, was, I didn't look at like that. He was doing he's like got a melee. ton. Like, we look at his stats later and it's ridiculous. So he's arrow proof, which sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to have to whittle him down a little bit, let my army whittle him down. So now he's broken. I just got to get in there and grab him. And I'm realizing it's hard to do because I'm just What's surrounded. This? All right, so oh. it's my last chance struggle. Got to hit the Y at the right time to counter it and get some health back. There All he right. is. He's there, so I just got to get in tight. So I go to grab him, and I keep trying to get to him, but he headbutts me, <laughs> oh picks me God. up, and body slams me! <laughs> <laughs> this dude! Oh, I'm like the singer, dude! Oh my God, this guy's, look at this guy. He's dope, man. And then I try to break him, but somebody gets in front of it and stops it from happening. I was like, what the, come on! All right, got there you him. go, got him. Got him. All right, recruit, obviously. Yeah, dude. Obviously, you gotta recruit this guy. I forgot what, what shaming does that just mean that like if you were to get shamed that your army just doesn't like you lose like you lose some some stuff I think. Yeah. All right, so he's on my side now, and he's gonna start destroying for me. Wow, hot great. with the singer, dude. Yeah, super rare. Wait till we look at his stats. <laughs> he's buff. He's buff. These shield guys. Ooh, so a new dragon is in play, and that dragon is not on my team. So, that, but it's still neutral. It's neutral, so it was just attacking everybody. That's why I just got yeah. hit with that fireball. Oh my gosh, so you, that, that's awesome. So if it, it's just a wild dragon just appear? Yep. That's well, I made dope. that a buff for one of my warlords. So yeah. like, it, I call, they call him in, uh, but he's neutral until you take him over. And the other one died, so a new one came in. So I'm picking up some gear, oh, and yeah, new uh, yeah. so I'm going to go ahead and get into my inventory and... Are you fighting more Numenorians into this? Uh, is, that, is that like, is there another like, like royal trio that you have to I don't play? know. So I want to I want to level up my stuff here, obviously, because I'm about to go fight the Overlord, and I want to make sure that I'm good. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this stuff. Um, so this is cool. If I got a stealth attack on an enemy is on fire, automatically I get 65% increased stealth damage to enemies that are on fire. 
So cool. I just got to unlock it, but I didn't get an opportunity to yeah. in this playthrough. Um, so I'm about to go fight the Overlord. The first time I fought an Overlord, it was a totally different character, totally different arena kind of thing. Yeah. I beat him really quick. Mm -hmm. I found a way to do it really quick. Well, lower this level, one gives or? me some trouble. Okay, got you. This you guy gives me some trouble. Him, right? or, no, no, he was weak to fire. Immune yeah. To fire, or weak to fire. Uh, but I was having a hard time using that. Yeah. You'll see. I, it, it doesn't go over as well as I want it to. Uh, I cleared out dudes left and right, but it just wasn't. So you see there's some go. There's some... You know, there's there's some issues here with the model. Uh, like they said, early build, early build, guys. And, you know, WB was nice enough to ask us out to do this. Um, you know, despite some of the, like, clipping and camera stuff, like, this is the most fun I've had playing a demo, maybe, ever. It's just a demo. Yeah. And it's freaking ridiculous. Look at this. Mortally We're flammable. If I would have hit him with fire, he would have died, and I wouldn't have been able to take him over. Okay? So that was his weakness. Vulnerable to stealth. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's fear of more guy flies and soft-headed. Oh, weird. <clears throat> Damaged by range attacks. But look at this. Epic trait, gang of elite savages. So he has a group of highly skilled savages that follow him. That's how many specials he has. That's what? super rare. Advanced class commander, war banners, call reinforcements, dying command, tribe bonus, call bonus, frontline warrior. So yeah, he what? can- What? That's awesome! He inspires everyone else in the army. So he actually is- a He bard. actually has a- He is a bard. Yeah. yeah, he's basically a bard. <laughs> It's amazing. I thought it was just like, I'm a bar just wax people. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he had like six different things, and they were all freaking out when I showed them the stats, because they were just like, yeah, like you, even this overlord only has like, he has less advantages and buffs yeah. as, that, as that bard does. Wow. That's awesome. So I'm about to go in and fight the overlord. Dude, this, guy, this guy's nothing. This guy's, look at He's got some abilities that I wasn't ready for. Yeah. And I don't know if they were on the tree and I just missed it, uh, but they, they gave me some trouble. They gave me some trouble. Yeah, I, I didn't see it on the tree, so I wasn't prepared for it. Yeah. Man. So now I have a different outfit on. You can see it's a totally different look. Look at you. Take, yeah, take, take all that, man. Take all that. Yep, gonna, yep, yep. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, fill yeah. up here. <laughs> I'm excited to see what happens in, like, inside of the, like, when you fight him, dude. Like, do each, because he's, like, the head general, or, head, like, the, the overlord. Yep. Do each overlord have, like, a, a unique ability that's, like, or they, is it, like, similar to all the other orcs? Or, like, like do they have a different, like, command <clears throat> ability? Or, I guess we'll probably find out. Right You'll now. find out. Cool, man. You'll find out. Um, so I kind of messed up up here. I was just running around, because you get, like, this super speed. And then I was like, oh, oh st stood on mine. I was like, oh, <laughs> damn it. God damn it. Gotta take some health. Sorry. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, you go. Get some more, yep. some more arrows. Up to, up to my full amount of arrows there. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody, about this cough. It's killer. Let's do this. <clears throat> Walking in like a badass. Town's gonna take this over. Well, look at that throne. Is that right? Damn. Yeah, it's a throne room, man. Wow. That's pretty dope. <laughs> so you see, there's a mine in the middle, and there's all these gated things. So I thought there was gonna be fire coming out of the floor. I was like, oh, cool, I'll just lure him into the fire. Because he's, he's hurt by fire. But yeah. No. Throne room. Or as I like to call it, your personal torture chamber. Soon it will be known only as your grave. Nice. Man, I'm. It, this battle oh. takes me a while, man. I, I'm I'm embarrassed a little bit for you guys all this because it does take me a little while. <laughs> I was trying to like just build up my stats and then firebomb him. Yeah. Hurt by fire, but it was taking too long to do that, and so I eventually figured out a good strategy to do, which I should have thought of sooner. Some tough minions there too. He does. I so first I went into Elven Rage right off the bat. I just wanted to cause as much damage as possible. Right off the bat. Messed him up! Man, look at this. They got their war paint on, dude. These guys are tough. So I just went dead into it. Uh, and now I'm like, alright, I want to get up high and kind of scope the area, if possible. So this is what, Ooh, what threw me for a ring. He's got bombs. Whoa, shit. <laughs> and a lot of them. And he throws a ton of them. And it will, uh, it'll ruin your combo if you get touched by him. Yeah, definitely. So I kept trying to build up my combo to hit him with the explosive fire arrows. And it just, you know, and my arrows themselves weren't giving me enough for combos. 
But anytime He's, I was like getting in there, those bombs start that's throwing. That's a constant too. Like how many is that? Like five like, in a row. <clears throat> and Three, they've got a huge, four, huge range. Five, six, Jesus. <laughs> Seven? Holy crap! I was eight. getting so annoyed. I was like, what do I do? Just go up top! Go up top! Run, run, run! <laughs> wow, so he throws eight bombs. Alright, so row. there's an archer up here. I'm gonna take take his life force. Yo. Now he works for me. And then I figured if there's one archer, there's probably another one. Uh, so just look around the map a little bit, see if we can't find another archer. Uh, boom, there's one right there. So let's shadow over to him. Stun him. Oh, so cool. I love Stun that. Stun him and take I him I love over. all those shadow moves, dude. They're so <coughs> cool. So yeah, we'll stun him and take him over. Now I've got two archers fighting for me on the sides. Back to full health. But you can see I don't have enough rage to shoot like a fire arrow. So I thought, all right, well, I'll just start at least making it easier for me to move around down there and start picking off some of these dudes. Right, right. I think that's good. That's good <clears throat> Which move. I thought at first was a good idea, but then he's respawning people out. Where's your crew at? I don't have a crew in here. Oh, you have to go in by yourself? You go in by yourself, dude. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that. So even though I crit hit him, it's not doing much damage. So I'm just gonna start going after these little guys and clear things out a little bit. So just do some headshots, clear out the area. Mess him up. All right. Yeah, like, you clean out that room. Yeah. And then more, just run in. Yeah. And that's oh, what so kept they keep, happening. They keep spawning then. Yep, they keep oh, spawning. Oh no. Oh dude. I was like, all right, I'll weed the ranks down and then they just kept coming in. Tell I haven't played the next box control. I kept second guessing <laughs> my headshots. I didn't have any arrows left, so I couldn't do a, sh a shadow strike down. <clears throat> and right there, boom, bombs. Immediately. Right when I hit the ground. Damn. So fucking annoying, man. <coughs> nice counter, so that was, nice yep, that, was that counter oh, insta kill. Yeah. Uh, I should have thought of the strategy to defeat him much earlier. I'm kind of mad at myself for taking so long. So, those guys, you can't jump over them. You can't vault over them. They'll grab you and throw you on the ground. So, you just counter back? Or? You, gotta count, you, got to, you got to use your counter uh, evade at the exact right moment to slide under the legs. Oh, shit. If you do it at the wrong moment, they'll grab you, throw you on the ground. It stuns you temporarily. So, right there, boom. It's just, I kept trying to make attacks and those bombs. Just, just the range on those bombs, too. They're like, they cover a lot of ground. I was getting pretty annoyed. There you go. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, look at that decap. So decap every time I every time I do that, on. every time I do that, I'm using two arrows. Again, I was still at this point mistakenly thinking I needed to weed down the rank so I could get a clear shot. Oh, that was the counter you're talking about. Oh, okay. and then I hit the wrong button. So right there, boom. I was getting, yeah, I knew I was messing up right there. Knew it, knew it. Oh, dude, you're gonna die. You're so close. Yep, I gotta run back up top, steal some life from the archers. Oh, Oy. man. They're just wrecking you right now. I know they're wrecking me, man. <laughs> Definitely wrecking me. So I figured if that archer had already respawned, I bet the other one has too. Sure enough. There he is. At this moment, did you realize that they kept fawning? Was this like the moment you were like... I just thought that my archers had been killed. Oh, yeah. yeah. That kind of thing. But it wasn't too much longer. It was like, I think it was around here where I looked down and went, oh, wait. It's like the same number of dudes. That guy had a spear, so I wanted to take him out because they can throw spears that high. So I'd notice he can't throw his bombs up here. Yeah. Um, but the spear guys can definitely hit me with spears from this far away. So I did oh, hit him okay. with the fire. Like, I built up enough rage there to I hit him with a, that. a good amount, it looked like. <clears throat> You're about halfway now. But that elven attack that I made earlier took out way more. Gotcha. Took out way more earlier. So I, I probably should have just stuck with that, the elven rage. I feel like that would be on the intel then. Like that kind of information. No, they don't tell you which of the. It'll just tell you a weakness. You know? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. But it's not gonna be like use this attack. Yeah, yeah. So I got another spear thrower down there. I wanted to take care of him. Oh man, I love it when he jumps off like that. I know, right? So right off the bat, I'm like, all right, let's start picking these guys off. Oh nope, never mind. Yep, nope, never mind. Yeah, never mind. I was trying to dodge there away from the bomb. Again. Oh, the, did that hurt him? It does hurt them. Oh great. I just need to get some arrows. I can't shadow strike either. Don't, right. don't move so slow. Come on. You're about halfway there, dude. Is it? I wonder if you were you able to, if you close the gap on that guy. Was he still throwing? Bombs well, that's why or? I started thinking like maybe it's because I'm too far away. Yeah. So 
So I was like, all right, well, at least Shadow Strikes, I can move around the level quicker and kind of get out of range of his bombs a little faster. Nope, see, I'm pretty close right there. <laughs> He's still throwing, <laughs> still throwing those damn bombs, man. Nice. nice. Oh, gosh, and dude. I know right now, guys, if you're watching, stick around. Like, you want to keep watching because there's some really cool stuff that comes after this battle. Uh, some really cool stuff. I do a story mission as well. This is only an hour playthrough, but this battle took me the biggest chunk of it. Um, but I do get through it. You should keep watching, though, because there's some really cool stuff afterwards. That's awesome. I can't wait, dude. I can't wait for you to beat this guy. Even though it took me a little <laughs> bit to beat this, the guy I was playing with said that I got through the story mission faster than anyone else had yet. Got through that one really That's probably because you started off on one of the hardest boss missions. <laughs> you could do anything after that. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was disappointed. I missed some counters. You know. <clears throat> Keep an eye on this there guy. There he is. There he is. Take out these dudes. Watch out. For oh, gosh. Boom. Yeah, he hits hard. He hits really hard, so I realized right there, I was like, I gotta get out of here. Oh. oh! Get out! Run! 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 Go up! Up, up, up! Dude, that was close. That was really close. Did... Oh man, you would have to start this battle all over again if you died. I mess up right here. I mess up hardcore. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was too far away. <laughs> if that archer took you out, I would have been so uh. upset. <laughs> So I'm close right here, but I've got enough to regen. All right, you're back in it. You're back in this. Yeah. So the the range on my like thing there, it's just I was just a little bit out of range. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, dude, the captains are so fucking cool. Damn, a bomb. I didn't realize it still took me this long to figure this out. <laughs> So I decided here to try taking him on head on, and that wasn't working very well either. So I can't attack him from the front. Okay. So yeah, like I can only attack him from behind. So I need to vault over him and attack him in the back. Damn. Oh God. Those it's so bombs. frustrating. Yeah, that's tough, man. Especially with the regen of, of all the, the, the minions. Yep. Hey, they're tough guys, man. They just keep coming. Yeah. Refill that I, I, you know, Thank God for these archers, though. They're kind of like a little helpful for you. Yeah. I had already had that one taken over, so when I like sucked his soul out again, it just blew his head off. <laughs> Whoopsie. Was this when I figured it out? I can't remember. Was it right here where I figured it out? Or was it the next round? I'm very close to getting to the point where I'm like, oh, duh. That's the thing. It's like I didn't build these skills up myself. Right. But I tried shadow striking him. That didn't work. So I can't so shadow yeah, strike him. So that's crazy. He's too powerful. <coughs> like I said, I can't attack him head on. Can't shadow strike. I'd have to vault over him. Do it that way. So I'm trying to think. Was it right here where I realized what I need to do? Because like, the shadow strike. I know now it's like such a duh thing, but I was trying to remember. Moment, though, I was like, trying to remember all the different moves that I built. Yeah, especially since like, like I said, like you, you know, you you built all these skills at once. You didn't. Is it right to... here? Yeah. I bring him to me. Oh. So now I don't have all the other dudes around. Oh, that's that's smart. So now I just gotta like counter him, jump over him, all that good stuff, uh, and windle him down. He's breaking. That that that's a, that was a smart move, man. Ooh, I'm just mad it took me that long to figure it out. Now you're going to town. Now you, I can see like it clicked for you. Yeah. And just this get is in. definitely where. So I was able to stun him, and then I went in for the big attack. Broken. Broken. Take him. Got him. It was so yes. dumb. It took me so long. <laughs> it was like, oh, separating from the troops. You know, like I just forgot that that was an ability. I should have just fought him to the death. But I wanted to recruit him. Yeah. Because he was legendary. I was like, I want that dude on my army. Yes, my lord. So we defeated the fortress, uh, defeated the overlord. Now it's mine. Yeah, and I great. get to choose which of my generals to make the overlord of this fortress. Is it going to be uh, the bard? Of course. <laughs>
The bright Nine lord. lord. Oh, that's sick! Oh, man, he's taking charge this game. He's trying to take back it. He's taking it all back, man. The Bright Lord. Beware of the Bright Lord. That's dope. <laughs> so we just conquered that entire region. I got a cool gem, a new weapon, and some nice. Dude, that was a pretty cool victory speech. <laughs> that was pretty yeah. awesome. So now I get to pick who I want to make uh, most overlord, and it's not really even a question. Yeah. Hoglick the Singer. Go. <laughs> He's gonna have a good time. To promote this dude. Yeah, man. He's gonna have a great time. He's a marauder, so we get all this, like, gold and all. Like, it's so pretty. Oh, did it, yeah, did it just upgrade the... Yeah, it changed oh, the fortress. Oh, that's awesome. So now my war chiefs are there. I need to go out and recruit new war chiefs and all that good stuff. That's really cool. But I wanted to play around a little bit with the story. So now that I beat a fortress, it's like, well, let's see what's out in the world. Let's yeah, play around definitely. with the world a little bit. Uh, so I wanted to explore a little bit, check things out. I'm almost dead. <laughs> so I was like, oh wait, there's a guy down here. Can I, he's my dude, but I need your health, bruh. Sound strike, yeah. Stun him and take his health. Thanks. Yeah, it's cool, the fortress looks really cool. Yeah, you didn't give me enough, sorry buddy. Friends! <laughs> We're friends now. <laughs> Thanks for joining my army. <laughs> so I didn't really go around on the street inside the fortress and everything, but it's just like, look at all that gold and stuff down there. Yeah. Man. It looks great. Those just, bards know how to bring the party. So each, what, just the level of, and, uh, of like, the commander or the new overlord, that's what's going to change the look of everything? Of the fortress, yeah. Gotcha. Depending on who you put in that position. Dude, this world looks really good, too, though. Like, yeah. Man, this feels like Christmas right now. <laughs> I can't wait for this game. It's coming out in October, and I, I can't wait. October's going to be a big I month, I was having man. so much fun playing it. Like I said, and the replayability is so high, because it's like, it's procedurally generated enemies, and you get attached to them, you know? Like, if, you, if they beat you, they get stronger, you know? If they yeah. kill you, like... So right here, I was kind of looking at where do I want to go, uh, which kind of mission do I want to go on, and I was asking the guy, I was like, okay, since I don't really have prompts here, like, he told me what kind of mission was each one. So I'm going to the one where it's like you, you meet this like forest beast and it's a narrative oh, kind of story awesome. driven thing. It's like, oh, I want to check that out. Is that the exclamation mark? Is the, yeah. It's like campaign story? Yeah. <coughs> so that's what I'm headed towards. Um, just uh, exploring the, little, the world a little bit as I go. Ooh. My super speed. <laughs> Look around a little bit, check this out. Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, look, oh, oh, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna fucks with me? You wanna fucks with me, bro? <laughs> Don't fucks with me, bro. This guy is real stupid. Real stupid. Yeah, they didn't have a chance, Don't man. Don't mess they with the Bright chance. Lord out in daylight. Come on. Real stupid. Uh, so I came upon these dudes, and I was like, what are they doing all chained up? Uh, is that a side quest? No. You can just release them. And by releasing them, they're like, on my side. Oh, wow. I'm going to take this dude out and then release them from captivity. That's pretty dope. Like, what's up, bro? Sorry, man. No, dude. Sorry, sorry they've been they've been wrong to you, man. You want to you wanna, wanna join my gang? You want to hang out, man? You join my gang? Hey, he just pierced through that, those metal shackles. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I could kill him. And then there was another one over here, and I was like, oh, I don't want to kill this guy, though. I want to give that guy the chance to kill him. <laughs> Let him have his, like, That's little true, moment. True, true logic right there. Yeah. Love that. You know, he's got to have a chance, man. Yeah, so now he's just ground pounding him. <laughs> you know. He's going to town. Oh, oh he, going to he town on him. That. He wanted to do that so bad. <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> oh, look, at, look at that smile. I feel so good. <laughs> <clears throat> now this guy, look at, look at this guy. Got some piercings and a little little goatee. It's got a little goatee. It's got a goatee. That's awesome. Straight up. Yep. So now those dudes are they're free. Go have some fun. Just running Murder around. Some people. Yeah. So I was wanting to blow up that barrel, but I'm out of arrows. Out of arrows. These two are just fighting. So this is slavers versus their captors, apparently. Oh wow. Which one's which? I believe the, the, the white skin ones are the slaves. Gotcha. Yeah. 
So I'm making my way over to that objective, moving around. Look, uh, I love that super speed, man. Yeah, it's, it's a little nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe overkill right there. Um, Watch out! Oh gosh! Counter execution. Slam. Dude, just the world looks really, really good. I know this isn't like the like right now we're not looking at the the, the end, final build final quality. And it was also it didn't uh it was definitely not on the ultra settings for PC either. Yeah. Like, you know, I know the game supports 4K, ultra, all that good stuff and it was not that's not where it was. Yeah. It was at 1080p for the capture uh all that good stuff. I can't wait to play it 4K TV and just like really go nuts with it. Yeah. Just seeing all the little details that are in yeah. this world like there's like little butterflies and stuff like that that look really nice. So for the most part, I'm just here, like, playing around a little bit. I wanted to kind of play around, and I know there's still a lot of combat I hadn't messed around with. Just have some fun with it. Explore try the world it, try a little all bit. Your different yeah, so just try all want to break his packs. shield, for sure. Break that shield, dude. Break that shield! Wow. I saw that coming. <laughs> I know. I saw it coming too. It happens. You like this game, Boom. like the Arkham games and stuff. Like I'm always like. You see it coming. You see you're like, coming. damn it! I hit the wrong yeah, button. Exactly. Exactly. I really do hate the switch for what it's doing to me, though. <laughs> like, why did they have to move all the buttons? I don't know. It's 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 a little trolly, you know. It's all just one quarter turn to really mess up everyone's like mindset. But it's so fun. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of mad at myself there because I could have performed a ground execution and I didn't by holding right trigger and X and I missed it. So let's grab those arrows uh, and let's head over to the objective. So how far into the story is like did they put you in? Like, well, just level thirty. I don't really know outside of that. Yeah. Um, they just wanted you to have enough toys to play with. So I want to. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I want to play around a little bit with stealth. And then oh, I, I saw that this dude over here's got intel. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna sneak him over, get some intel from him. Just I like that they're like you hear the conversations talking mm -hmm. to themselves. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Hey, come here. Hey, hey. Come on. Come on, bud. Oh, this bush is suspicious. Yeah. This talking bush. <laughs> I'm gonna check out this talking bush. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I already got it. It's on Hoggling the Singer. Yeah. I can't, I don't, I don't, come on, I already took him over. We're fine. So, screw you, dude. I, I wanted, like, if I had more time, I wanted to start going after generals. Yeah. You yeah. know, marking the targets and going after them. But apparently now you can send them a death threat. Oh my gosh, no way. Uh, and it, that means, like, it's going to make them a little bit harder to kill. Uh, It'll be more powerful. But you, you get more XP. Yeah. But if they win, they get you lose ranking and they gain more XP. Oh gosh, that's that's a cool feature. That's actually a really really cool yeah. feature. So Since you just you like just send him and be like, go tell your general that yeah, I'm coming. Baby. Oh stupid! How did I miss that? That's. I was like, oh wait, a fire. Let's do this. Boom! Whoa. That's dope. Yes. Ah. I was hoping this I could break his shield, but that doesn't work that way. So. Did you get around behind him? Can you like? Oh, pass? right through the head. Can you right like push him back, make him like a? Well, I was hoping like because I was faster than him. I was like, okay, I know it's telling me to dodge, but I am faster. Yeah. So I thought maybe I could hit it first and break it, but I couldn't. So that's Ooh, a spider's that? nest. Oh, So I shit. thought if I hit the spider's nest, it would go up there and attack those dudes. But instead, they ran down and started coming after me. So you can oh, see yeah. him, like, oh running gosh. on the ground here. I was like, oh, okay, that didn't work. Uh, so let's just shadow strike up there and get away from these <laughs> spiders that are coming towards me. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yes. It's at this point, it's like, I'm going towards the story. So that's a random drop, that gym right there. Yeah. Oh, that kick was like super, like, <laughs> got some superpowers, man. That it kick does, threw dude. him like 30 feet back. Yeah, dude. <coughs> I would hate to face off a dude's Italian, man. He's, he's a badass. He's a badass, yeah. So I picked up a gym, and I remembered that I had already picked up a gym. So I need to go into my inventory here, and you can you see these locked 
uh, little red rings underneath that. Yeah. You can slot gems onto individual parts of your outfit. Oh, it's great. You can power them up. Yeah, and you can power them up. But you got to unlock them first, and it does cost some, some money to unlock them. Uh, so I've got a warrior gem. Uh, and, and, and it looks like you can get vitality, wealth, and potency. But right now, I'd only grab potency gems. Yeah. So weapons is a 15% increase damage with this weapon. Uh, if I put it on armor, though, I get a 7.5 increase damage with all attacks. So I decided to not use that. I was going to put that on some armor. Yeah. So now I'm going to go over to my armor, unlock it. I usually that. feel like I used, I don't, when I play these kinds of games, I, I don't usually put things on, on for uh, currency bonuses. I don't really know why. I just... I'm all attack. Just, I'm all attack. Yeah. I, Leroy Jenkins, everything. Yeah. I'm all. I'm not, I'm gonna run in. I'm, and if I'm so I die, bad. so be it. When it comes to stealth missions, I'm terrible. At I'm stealth not a missions. stealth person. I'm not either. Just I want to go in there and just punch him in the face. I play 100% the opposite style of Alex. Alex is like stealth player 100%. Yeah. That's his type of thing. Like finding the most like the best path for a stealth mission, all that stuff. So I just called Ooh, in my what? bot. I just uh, called in. Look at that. Er Lasu the Pain Seeker, Terror Tracker, Cheated Death. So we just ran into this dude uh, out in the wild. I've already control him as a general. Is that, already mine. Is, uh, is that a glitch? Is it it's not? a glitch. His face. No, okay. No, okay. <laughs> so I already control this guy. So he's just going to jump into battle and fuck shit up. So apparently these dual axe guys, you can't attack them head on. Okay, gotcha. You can it counter them. them you can yeah. counter them. You can stun them. I keep forgetting to use my freeze. But look at this. Look at this. Boom! Oh! Like a Hulk right there, dude. Man, nice. being able to have all these allies is such a cool feature. It really, you call him in is, like at any time, basically. Or? I didn't call him in. I just ran into him. Oh randomly. wow! Yeah, he wasn't my bodyguard. So just get oh, that help. Take the help back. Yeah, I'm getting really close to the story mission here. But now I've called in my bodyguard just to have some fun. I wanted to see what he could do. So he's got this legendary <laughs> weapon. <laughs> Uh, that's got like a chain attached to it so he can like grab people and pull them in. This is so cool. This is... So even though that guy's on my team, he still grabs him and throws him at the other dude. <laughs> amazing. That's amazing. So he shoots this chain at him and pulls him in. And that's then, a cool weapon. Yeah. And just knocked this <laughs> and unconscious just beating the shit out of him. Yeah. It's great. I love it. Just wanted to let him have some fun, you know? <laughs> Dude, I want to see what he can do too. Yeah. You know? Oh, look at him! Oh my God! Oh. 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 <laughs> oh man, you're so overkill. You're so overkill with your it's antlers a, and everything. He's a good bodyguard right there. Yeah, he's a good bodyguard. Yeah. All well, right. So go. violent nature. I'm gonna turn this up so you guys can hear the story. I want you to be able to hear the story mode. Ooh, none is none. Strange music. Calls you into the floor, so. Go, go! He haunts us! What creature haunts this forest? Oh, Kanan is no creature. She is nature itself. She calls us. Talion, we must move with great caution. Yeah, yeah, I don't know who this is for, dude. Pretty spoopy. Pretty spoopy. Pretty spoopy. <laughs> Man, it's cool. So those warrior gems are like, how, you can only equip one at a time though. Right? Yeah. For what? For inventory. Get back here. Finish the job, will you? I'll kill you. So we've got an enemy up here to the left. Get some intel out of him. Give me the secret to the schools. Oh, not you. Have some mercy, Ranger. Oh, really messed up, though. Don't leave me like this. What has happened here? Dominate him, and you will have the truth. Cut me free, Ranger. I have loot, gold, and treasures. From the great hall of Minas I don't believe him. I don't believe him. Oh, Fuck it. No I'll way. take you no. there. Oh, Interrogate that asshole. She's picking us off one by one. That beast scum hundred strong. Get out here and show yourself. Pit to peak. Enslave Vidar rivers and trees. No, no, no. no. Oh, poor, poor 
guy's head. Aww. This is the forest of Karnan, and she will protect it with the full power of nature. Man, I'm, I, I feel like I smell This forest is possessed by death. Oh, yeah, you smell a boss fight? smell a boss fight. The two oh, are bound together. I get there. That is coming. this story pretty quick. What are the orcs doing here? The ghouls, man. They are yeah, doing yeah. Sauron's work. I don't want to fucks with him. No. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want She's to be pretty tough. Scene. I don't want to fucks with him. <laughs> I was like, oh, look at all these arrow drops. I wonder busy. if a boss fight's coming out. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, follow that misty, the, that ominous fog trail. Yeah, right? <laughs> I just realized you can do that, so while you're in, uh, while you're ducked down in stealth mode, you can see that. Oh, that's dope. Stealth. Yeah. So many ways to move quickly, guys. I kept thinking something in this forest was going to come out and attack me. Like, I yeah. was almost certain something was so to ominous. We'll, we'll fight our way out and, and then settle our difference. So, give me your intel. I found it! The tree! She's the tree! Spirit of Karnan is tree and beast. Fang and claw, root and spear. Sorry. Oops! No mercy at all, dude. I love this. You turn around. Wait. Well, that, well, that wasn't there before. <laughs> Just, oh, hey. All right, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Boss fight. Yeah. What's up now? What do you got, spirit lady? What do you got? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is fine. Elemental crawl. Get in there, 
tight. But I didn't want to walk into that green flame, so I went around to the side, and then BOOM! Elven attack. Oh, no, but this is dope. Made short, short work of him. Dude, this guy's nuts. He's small for And then that was shit. <laughs> Tea bag, the ground. Like, All right, this is a piece of cake. You got nothing. Oh! oh! <laughs> Shit! Shit! This is also <laughs> in all its fury. Can you tell it to stop? One does not reason with the wind. Can you tell it to stop? <laughs> we burn away for you and return. I was, nice trying, I was trying to see if I could. Uh, not, not, a, not a possible Die alone. And then I was like, oh, okay, I do have this built up so I can shoot a force blast. Yeah. But I let him too far. I didn't, like, wasn't properly speed, so I'm right here. I lived a little hair to go and get a force blast. Oh, that's a pretty good thing. Fire Oh, oh, yeah, that yeah, 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 just stand in that plane. <laughs> I'm glad that didn't happen. That was a pass. 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 It seems this Conan isn't as powerful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. Unleash. To rise and rise again. In a hole go you. What have we unleashed? Oh, she's big. The cry of the forests. Scream of the rivers. Great spirit of Kana. See so cry and clamor. You have woken. And creviced until now. I opened the dark lord. He stokes his flames. Forges cage like kindling for shattering fire to come. Burn you. Burn we. A fire for all it will be. What have we awoken? Undead! Zombie! No! Maker, your fortune <coughs> sinks. A crack across the land. Fire woken by a cold metal ring. We hear your call. Allow us to help. Yes, you will. I like that. We're all for our help. Yes, but you will. <laughs> Not up for debate. You, a flesh haunted thing. We will find Tor Goroth. Go now. Your Balrog awaits. What? He rises in doom. So Balrog what? rises in doom shadow. Fight till death, death and rise, and rise again. again. Fight. You will Holy fight. Holy shit! What? Soon and soon. Oh, what the heck? I want to go fight the Balrog? That's amazing! Wow. That's I want to do that. Cool. That is super, super cool. Okay. Uh, I wish I could do that.
in this, yeah. but I know. Uh, they're saving that <laughs> for the game. Uh, so there's just a little bit left in this. Uh, I mainly just uh, fast travel to a town mm-hmm. just to play around a little bit, check out some things I hadn't tried yet. Uh, do you have questions for me, man? Like, I know you're super excited for this game. Yeah, I mean... You played all the way through the first one. I did, too. I played the Game of the Year edition, too. I yeah, loved it. Yeah, it's a freaking great game. I don't know, dude. Like, just uh, overall, how do you feel compared to the first one for, in terms of, uh, I mean, already I could see it in gameplay and stuff, but how do you personally feel? Like- I like this so much. They've It feels deeper. Yeah. You know, already the combat in the first one was really deep, and the Nemesis system brought something new. But you gotta you gotta advance on that, yeah. and the Nemesis system itself doesn't feel like it's advanced much. But the act of like being able to take entire armies into these fortresses, it's, and then the RPG elements that go along with that, like yeah. giving your armies abilities, giving yourself abilities, and all your different leveling up things. It's a little bit deeper and richer in that way, and I'm I'm excited for that. I'm I really, really like that. I like that point. Of, like just they they took what worked really well <coughs> the first game and just adding these points make it even like excel even further and I'm really so right here I just fast traveled to a town I haven't been to yet and I'm gonna like use the eye of Sauron here (laughs) (coughs) so yeah I'm using the eye of Sauron to kind of get a look at the landscape of the town I'm in uh, so you can scan the landscape to mark stuff on your map oh cool you know it's fine I actually really liked the kind of graphical nature of this like it felt kind of map painting and graphical it was kind of cool yeah so I, I, I do this for a little bit, but going back into it, like the combat's smooth. It took me a little bit to get reused to it. I know there's some clipping issues and some camera angle issues in the demo, but I'm very confident that will all get fixed yeah. uh, before the game release. I mean, we're still months out. And mm-hmm. most of these games, like, they're not this full-fledged this many months out. That's so true. That's so true. I'm excited for October, man. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know. And it looks like we're going to be having to fight a lot of the undead. It looks like a major plot point. And uh, a ball rock. rock, which... If what? I what? if I get to take over that fucking ball That's rock, what I was just thinking like can if you I get to ride that? a ball rock, that would be. Super, I want to ride a ball rock. Cool. I mean, giving me a dragon already is pretty fucking cool. Yeah, but you give me a ball cool. rock. It's but like give me a ball what? rock, and let me go wreck some shit with it. Take the battle to soar on himself. Yeah, with a ball rock. I just can't believe how in depth like fly you fools. D- just nah. <laughs> like just the combat was so much fun to just to watch and like. But there's so much going on in it, and it's I'm excited to be in in this game. Like, I'm excited to play it, man. Ah, I I wanted I wanted to keep playing. I was only allowed to be there for uh, a little like hour and a half. Yeah. And like I said, I br- br- ran through the first demo very quickly and just like okay, I, now I want to record. You know, I just wanted to make sure I got a little bit of the controls down. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I didn't want to stop. But there were other people coming in that had to take their turn. I was like, no. You can't rename the characters, right? You can't. Oh, uh, so I like I summoned my bodyguard up here to see if he would jump down with me. He doesn't. He just like sad. That. You can. So I just wanted to go mess around, play around a little bit, uh, have some fun uh, before my demo's over. It's really close, so I just called in my mount to, to wreck some havoc with him because oh, I was like, yep, oh, I haven't yep, yep. I haven't rode my mount yet. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. So let's uh let's ride my mount. So you take complete control over him. You basically are a little mini Godzilla. You can climb, you can pick things up, you can hit, you can uh, replenish your health by grabbing them once your rage bar is filled and eating the bad guys. Yeah. That's awesome. Way more fun than it should be. It looks like a, like, look at you. Look at you, look at having a blast Like a puppy. Yeah. A little puppy, just destroying shit. So then an enemy one comes up and wants to fight me. (laughs) It's like, this is a great opportunity. Oh, you want to go? Oh, dude. You want to oh. go? You want to go? Just back and forth, <laughs> punch each other around the face. Nice. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. You can counter on the on the mount. That's dope. So I just want to break him. I want to break him. He's broken. Now let's get two of them in the battle. <laughs> so I'm going to hop off here. Let my guy keep doing his thing. And let's, let's, let's take over this dude. And now we got two of them. Whee! Yeah, dude, that's so cool. Look at him eating that guy and then throwing him on the ground. They're vicious. Absolutely vicious. Man, I can't wait to play this game. <laughs> I like his little hop. I love his little hop. He's just so excited to do what he wants to do best, you know? Smash! I mean, how close does this already look like Star Wars now? 
Speaking. Yeah, for it looks like a, you're riding a raincore, basically. Yep. yep. Just need Jabba the Hutt in this scene, and we're great. <laughs> Smashing. <laughs> Love this. I like to stay together. And... Oh, eating. Dude. So great. Oh. <laughs> Just eating them left and right. I, I do like that hop. It's a little fun. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Is that explosives up there? Yeah, there's explosives, all that good stuff. I was trying to see if I could pick somebody up and throw them. Uh, I don't think I figured that out. You can shoot while you're on top of it. Yeah, that's pretty dope. And also, shadow strike off of him. All that good stuff. Oh, man. So these archers were killing him. I was like, stop it. How big is the, like, did you get to see like how big the map is? No, they only had one region unlocked for us. Cool. For the demo. Uh, I should have asked, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I was just having a good time. I was just having a blast. Yeah, definitely. Look at my back, look at my bodyguard up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why? Come on, guys. <laughs> Poor dude. Oh man, he just wants to protect me and he can't. You need protection! <laughs> <laughs> like I said, guys, this demo is almost over. It's really close. Um, oh, look at that. He climbed up there to join me. Aww. Take a nice pose. Ow! Take a, a shot with an arrow. Ow! Another so you shot. don't have to shadow strike to get on top of him. Uh, you can just stand there and hit RB to mount up. And I want to go climb. Oh, dude. Let's Godzilla. Oh, this. my God. That's sick. But you know what sucks? I get up here. I start smashing. And then the little archer kills my guy. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? <coughs> His only crime was having fun. I know. Jerk move. I would have killed him, dude. Yeah. I would have killed him. Boom. Look at that, though. That was dope. That's super dope. Uh, but that's pretty much it guys. Uh, that's pretty much it for the demo uh, Let us know in the comments below what you guys think. Are you excited for this game? Yes, Lord knows I am super hyped I can't wait to play this on our twitch channel uh, for hours and hours on end <laughs> this whole time I was just like pass the controller to me, but I'm like, oh wait, oh, wait there isn't one. There isn't one. Hey. I know I was really bummed <laughs> I was gonna I tried to do audio commentary while I was there, but there were so many people in the room They were like, ah, it's just don't do it. It's, it's gonna be a mess. Uh, so sorry that it's just us talking over a video instead of live playthrough, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed getting this like exclusive behind the scenes look at the game, early access. Uh, if you want us to do more things like this, please let us know in the comments below. Yeah, and absolutely. I will, I will keep signing up for these kinds of things and, and try to get in on that. So, uh, once again, thank you guys. Hope you had fun. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you're hyped. I know I'm you're fucking, hyped. I'm, I'm super fired hyped. up right now, dude. Uh, I can't wait for October. I'm really mad that I don't get to go back and, you know, uh, and... And see what this guy's future is. <laughs> You're not gonna get. That I'm never guy. gonna get that bard again. That I'm again. never gonna see him again. That like that's what sucks too. I'm like <laughs> I'm never gonna see. I'm probably gonna play the game for hours and hours and hours, and I'm never gonna see that bard again, ever. This sucks, dude. Uh, I was just thinking that too. I'm like, you're never like we're like, what are we gonna do? We can't. We're not gonna see him again. Point oh, five. Uh, what did you say? Point five percent chance, right? Yeah. Or yeah, like five point five to one percent chance. Ugh. Stupid. Well, uh, but this was great. So thank you, WB, for inviting me out. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of fun, and hope you enjoyed watching along. It was great, man. I'm, I'm super fired up about it, man. Woo! All right, check out our other content, and don't forget to go over to our Twitch channel to watch us playing games every single day of the week, uh, twitch.tv slash hyperrpg. Right. And we don't really upload those to YouTube because our YouTube is mainly for the RPGs and the movie stuff, so uh, head over to Twitch, and uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, see you guys. Bye. Whoop, whoop.